The parliamentary budget officer says a guaranteed basic income plan in Canada would cost about $76 billion. A pilot project is currently underway in a handful of Ontario communities, and many have pondered what it would cost to run a similar program nationwide. For more insight on this and help dissect the numbers, we're joined by Deputy Parliamentary Budget Officer Mustafa Skari. Great to see you again, sir. Uh, how many Canadians would benefit from a program if we were to stretch this out and put it across the country? Well, we, we estimate that there will be about 7.5 million people around that number that would be using this program. And, I mean, some of them would receive the total amount, some of them would receive less because they, they will be working. And so as they work, the, the amount of money that they would get from the government will, uh, will go down 50 cents for every dollar that they earn. Right, and, and so the Ontario criteria, which is what you guys used to sort of game this out, is that you had to be 18 to 64, uh, you had to make less than, if you're a single person, $34,000 a year, less than, if you're a couple, $48,000 a year, and, and the, the guaranteed basic income would boost that up by as much as 17000 for a single person, 24000 as a couple. Those numbers tell us what it would cost. In, in looking at this and in studying this, have you figured out if it's worth it? Well, no, we don't really look at that because that's, a, that's really a policy question. I mean, one has to evaluate all aspects of such a program and see what the social benefits are and evaluate those against the fiscal cost of them and then make a decision. And that, and that, that decision obviously is up to the, up to the you know, elected representatives that they have to make those kind of a trade off So what we did was just look at this as one program which used the Ontario pilot project and said okay what would that cost if we implement that at the federal level for the whole country now there are many things involved in that obviously if you were to implement a program like that it needs to be actually done in cooperation with other levels of government because all levels of government provide some social assistance to low-income Canadians so, so it can't be done in isolation in, in, in fact so but this gives you a sense of what the, what the order of magnitude is in terms of the cost of, of, a, of a program such that, like that. And, uh, and you know, from there, if, if you know, any government or any party wants to pursue this, then they have to get down into the more details of how to implement such a program and what would it uh, replace uh, in terms of the programs that already exist. Well, and that, that's the whole argument here, is, is that if you had a program and one sort of individual program that said, here you go, we need you to be making X amount of money, and if you're not, we'll top you up, that would wipe out, what other programs would that wipe out? I mean, EI, welfare, a, a lot of those would be able to go if we introduced a program like this, Well, right? mostly the welfare and social assistance program. I mean, the way we looked at this uh, at the federal level uh, last November, you know, what are the programs that exist at the federal level that are geared towards the, the low-income Canadians? And we came up with, the, with the, an estimate of about $54 billion that the federal government spends every year on low-income Canadians. But, you know, uh, a, a big uh, part of that goes to seniors and, uh, and uh, aboriginals on, on, on reserves. So for this program, given the, given the age category that we, we had for this 18 to 64, we, uh, we, our estimate was that about $32 billion uh, already is being spent by the federal government on, on Canadians with low income. So the net cost of this for the federal government, if it, it were to implement this, would be about 44 uh, billion dollars a year. All right. Well, we can't make decisions on this until we know the numbers. So thank you for doing the report and thanks for coming on the show today. It's great to see you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Most of us, Gary, is the Deputy Parliamentary Budget Officer.